I was a senior pastor. I quit that and became a youth pastor because I liked working with teenagers. And one of the reasons I like it is you can do all these cool retreats. They pay you to go on vacation. That's what youth ministry is. And so, so we would go up to this lake called Lake Almanor every year. And we, we did two weeks of water ski retreats. And we would import teenagers three days, send them home. About a day between, my buddies and I would stay up there. And then another new group would arrive. And it was between two retreats. And I'm up at a lake called Lake Almanor. It's the afternoon. And we got a really killer boat, a ski nautique. And we are skiing and the lake gets really choppy. The wind comes up, it's white caps. So instead of getting off the lake, we invented a game. And so we shortened the rope. So it was only like 20, 25 feet behind the boat. So it wasn't that far away from the boat. Shortened the rope and a guy got a stopwatch on the inside of the boat. And we said, okay, look, when the gun, the, when you're up and stable, each guy's gonna take a turn. When you're up and stable, you do this and then grab back on the rope. Okay, and the minute you do this, they start the stopwatch and they tell the driver, go for it, kill him. And so the driver literally, and it's how fast can they make you fall? Okay, and it would S turn so the rope goes slack. They would, they'd go up on dry land if this is what it took. The boat would come back, try to hit you, all, all this stuff. The game was called suicide. And so, so it's, I'm up there, it's my turn and I am holding on for dear life. The boat is going, I'm just crashing on these things and I get swung way out to the side. My arms are about coming out of my sockets and I'm skiing as fast as I've ever gone on water and I'm just going and then I look in front of me and I see it. About 10 feet in front, there's a duck. <laughs> and I am skiing right at this duck and, and I just decide, I'm going to go right over this duck. So I am flying right at this duck, and I get about five feet away from this duck, and this duck's just like looking at me. <laughs> and now, you animal rights activists, before you write me, here's the deal. You can't hit a duck on a lake. They go underwater when you get close. That's why they're called ducks. So I get, <laughs> I get like five feet away from this duck, and I, I mean, I'm ripping, and I'm thinking, this duck isn't moving. And I'm thinking, duck, duck, nothing. <laughs> And so at the last second, I'm, just before I, I switch my skis and I go flying by this duck and I'm going, why didn't this dumb duck duck? And I look down, evidently it is a mom duck because right behind it, like on it, are two to three uh, little tiny like three inch baby ducklings. I don't do that to me. And, <laughs> and I go flying by and I look down and I see them. And I'm, you know how thoughts can go through your head really fast except during math classes in church? The, um, all, these, all these thoughts are flying. I thought, isn't that, what a stud mom. She's like, hey, mess with my family. Come on, I'll take you out, sucker. I mean, the, and then I thought, isn't that like that God? He shelters us under his wings, protects us. And then I thought, the guys in the boat got to see this. So I go, check this out. And I'm pointing back. And I am so disoriented because I'm looking back at these ducks. I'm so disoriented that I forget what I'm doing. I am playing a game called suicide with guys who are trying to kill me in really bad conditions. And I am holding on to a speeding boat and, um, and I am looking backwards. I never saw it coming. Boat the wake, my ski went underwater. This is not a good thing because the key, the ski what? Stops. I'm so disoriented because I'm looking back. I don't let go. I get yanked out of the skis and I am now flying for about two seconds and then slam on the water. I still don't let go of this stupid rope. I am being pulled underwater at 35 miles an hour. Trunks, whoosh, gone. The, um, <clears throat> and I finally let go. I come to the surface. I'm checking for broken ribs. I get these trunks back up. I'm spitting out water. I can barely breathe. The guys that pull up next to me on the boat, they are laughing so hard. They are falling out of the boat. Ladies and gentlemen, I learned a very important Joshua 1 lesson on that lake that day. And that lesson is this. Nobody, nobody, the Israelites for 40 years or you for however long it's been, nobody goes forward well when they are looking back. Amen. 